Lord forgive me for this trap shit Sergeant Smack make it backflip Telly Hank it with the action With the vital speaking Spanish Frank Matthews how I vanish Poof Came back like I'm King Tut Gold BBS is on a beamer When Fat Cat was tearing queens up Fall off the profit not the re-up Fly like Puerto Rican Jesus Uptown like I'm Baby Main Just caught a touchdown from the bay. The city of Detroit has always been a hotbed for all-star supergroups, and the streets would be where it all began. In the early 2000s, the street lords would set the tone with their groundbreaking album, Platinum Rollies Don't Tick Top, in 2000, embodying their ambition and street life in the city. And not long after that, the East Side Cheddar Boys would emerge with albums like Making Cheddar on the East Side, the very next year in 2001 and Cheddar makes it better in 2003 essentially becoming the voice of the city's east side and by the 2010s groups like Doughboys Cash Out would emerge as a powerhouse collective eventually signing with Young Jeezy's CTE World label in 2013 marking Detroit's national resurgence alongside them Team Eastside would assemble an all-star lineup that would feature established artists like Peasy and Babyface Ray. Now following in the footsteps of those giants, the band gang would be the next to emerge in the early 2010s. And just like the others we mentioned, they weren't just a rap group. It seemed like a brotherhood that would form together. Band gang Paid Will, band gang Moscow, band gang Lonnie, AJ, Javar, and band gang bigs each would bring a unique voice to the group and together they would release projects like white buff boys and the family in 2014 that would earn them a loyal following but band gang's music wasn't just entertainment it was a reflection of their lives and a lifeline to those living in the same circumstances yeah, Lonnie Ben. We know these fans watching these niggas plot. But they ain't stopping shit. I'ma keep dropping, I'ma keep copping. I count a lot of slips, y'all ain't taking shit up off us. Hey, we run a lot of clips by the quarter meal in the club. Hey, you better tuck your bitch. Amaza. Roller, bitch, I got that raw ass to sweep her. I cook them. Bitch, I really bake them like a needle. With needle, a freaky bitch from Easter should have seen it. She suck it like I forgot to wash it, so she clean it. I'm Rose. Fans been watching me like Channel 2. I feel the pressure. They watch it. Mama told me go and get a job, gave me a lecture. I've been stressing, but niggas on my head keep me laughing. The movies AMC, the only time you seen some Max. Band gang, AJ, y'all know what it is, man. Oh, mix to the bottom of little nigga, we pour snow. In this bitch bear, hell no, I don't get cold, but this is cold white like the buffs. Ghost cutting up in that vet, this bitch ride like a ghost. Bitch, we the Gucci boys. Yeah, these boys is going crazy oh, right yeah, now. Yeah, we got two more members that they, they on their way right now, Bigs and Paid. My bitch only fuck with me. Lying niggas, no attention, lying changing on sixes, no cheap keep. I ain't banging on bitches. Now she can't walk, I disabled your bitch. Got a cable on clip, it'll take your whole clip. <laughs> And by 2016 or so, it seemed like Band Gang was on the cusps of something great 
as I would begin to see them everywhere. Their mixtapes, Young Kings, and WDW to it will further solidify their place in the city's music scene. The fans, and I'm sure industry insiders, will begin to believe that Band Gang could be the next Detroit supergroup to land a major record deal following in the paths of Doughboy Cash Out. Beyond the group's collective success, multiple members would pursue solo ventures. Pay Will, in particular, would build a strong individual presence with mixtapes like Applying Pressure. But even as they worked on solo projects, their bond would remain strong as Band Gang was always the foundation. My 50 for the blow 50, that's a hundred. Hey, no cap, where y'all at? Another. Wow. 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 Shit, Boog, you still going? God damn, Boogie. God damn, Boogie. You was coming on blue. God damn, Boogie. I don't want no problem. Boogie, why is you doing that? Wow, the fucking mirror. The fucking mirror. The fuck, hey. Hold on. Open that bag, I know you got them blues on you. Come on, man, stop playing with these with boys, you, man. man. This shit is, hey, hey. all my niggas got them wrong, you hear it? It's a, it's a couple It's a couple I ain't just running my mouth neither I ain't just running my mouth neither I still Hey, I ain't just running my mouth neither You hit too little shit Wow Wow We could get Yeah, it'll get like that No cap My niggas really having this shit My niggas really having this shit My niggas really having this shit, man It'll get like Niggas really having this shit, man. What's on the stove, man? Hey, my. Hey. Hey. Wow. Hey, we still got the secret sauce they thought we ran out. You hear? These niggas mad now. Hey. Wow. Hey. No fake. No fake. This is what we like, That's bro. Why I talk like okay, bro. Hey. Why are the niggas With some off white okay, shit, hey. That nigga sold drugs. Why are the niggas off peace? And I ain't talking about what? that. Hey, yeah, feel your shit. Wow. We gonna still be rich. Hey, my man. Either rapping or it's trapping, we gonna still be rich. Drug hits. I ain't talking about that. Real piles around this dude. This ain't no how you plan it. That's how you plan it. Yeah, bro, you think it's that fun, dude. It's crazy, man. BZ, B. Oh, more dogs on the way to stay tuned. More dogs on the way to stay tuned. Niggas can't fuck with us, B. Hold on. Let me pin that real quick, man. No faking. But just as Band Gang seemed poised to break into the mainstream, tragedy would strike. And in September of 2020, one of the group's original members, Jizzle P, would be shot and killed while sitting in his car outside his mother's home. Well, he was a rising star in Detroit's rap community and starting to get some national attention as well. 
Aaron Mays, better known as Jizzle P, was shot and killed last night while sitting in a car on Detroit's west side. Defender Sean Lay spoke to his mother today, and Sean joins us live with more. Sean? Just a difficult conversation. You're talking about Aaron Mays, the son and loved by so many in his family and neighborhood than Jizzle P, uh, his nickname as a rapper, packed with talent really a star on the rise his mom tells me she was right there when someone ran up and shot him to death hey. my heart don't hurt my soul hurt perfect. my he soul hurt he i watched my son die my face can you imagine watching your own son die Sonika mays walked out of her home on detroit's west side at 8 15 last night her son 25 year old aaron mays was sitting in a car the two of them cracking jokes when someone ran up firing so many shots at mays his mother says she couldn't see the suspect's face there was so much muzzle flash from the gun I could couldn't see his face at all. The fire from the gun, it was just too. Nice. Remember hitting the road day and night, taking long trips. Aaron Mays was well known in Detroit, a rising star in the rap industry known as Jizzle P. Kenny Valentino with Hot 1075 says when someone like Jizzle P works hard and starts to make it and then is targeted like this, it hurts the young people that look up to him. It's very motivating to our young people to see someone from your neighborhood, someone who may be from a few blocks or a few miles away from you begin to make it and then they're gunned down. It's very sad. But I will say this, I'm, I'm going to be strong for him. All the time. Yes, ma'am. Guess why? Yes, ma'am. That's a fact. He don't want me to cry. He don't want me to mourn. My brother was And he strong. don't want to be on a t-shirt. Absolutely devastating for this family, for the thousands of fans that really enjoy Jizzle P's uh, music. Bottom line here, another family member also hit by that gunfire in critical condition right now. Motive and the gunman. Uh, still under investigation by Detroit Homicide. We're live tonight. Sean Lane, local for Defenders. Okay. Sean. His death would immediately send shockwaves through the group and the hip hop community. For Band Gang, the loss of Jizzle P wouldn't be just emotional, it would be a devastating blow to their momentum. But still, the group would press on, determined to honor his memory. But the streets of Detroit are ruthless and Bang Gang's efforts would be met with another tragedy that would change the course of their journey forever. Just two months after Jizzle P's death on November 30th, 2020, the group would lose Bang Gang paid will, a person to me in particular that seemed like an unofficial leader in the glue in the heart of Bang Gang when he would be shot and killed. Paid Will had been one of the main voices and a driving force behind the group's vision. His presence was undeniable and his solo projects like Applying Pressure would not only showcase his talent, but his ability to steer the group towards bigger opportunities by being featured on songs by stars in other regions. For instance, his collaboration with Filthy Rich and to some fans, Will was the embodiment of Bang Gang's ambition, the one they believed could lead them to a major record deal. And his death wasn't just a personal loss for his brothers. It seemed like the end of an era. With paid Will gone, Bang Gang lost more than a talented rapper. They lost the spark to the group and the streets of Detroit that had once given them their voice seemed to have silenced it. His passing would leave fans heartbroken while possibly leaving the remaining band gang members to question. Could success mean the same without the fallen two members? And even if they secured that once sought after record deal, Al would serve as a harsh reminder of the unforgiving reality faced by artists trying to rise from the streets. What should have been a story of triumph became a tale of loss and what might have been. The music continued, but without paid will and Jizzle P, the band gang 
could never really truly be the same. 